This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. dismisses claims that he was summoned by the Enforcement Directorate but says he is ready for questioning and will quit if his resignation is sought. Citing fresh instances of violence, Jail Alta reiterates her appeal to the EC to take actions against the illiterate attacks on AI ADMK. Tangabalu's effigies burnt in Basin Bridge today, heartburn against the TNCC chief increases. And Julia Chika gets cracking to NTTV Hindu with surely like father, like son of the feet. Can you imitate your father by any chance? Uh, Just his mannerisms? <laughs> A very good evening. You're watching the news on Headlines Now with me, Tavya. All the political pot boilers and sporting action is coming up for you in this half-hour capsule. For the news in detail, let's take a look at the news making national headlines. Advent Ketriwal rejects Ding Vijay Singh's claims that 50 lakhs were spent on Anna Hazare's 40 hunger strike. An infection has meant that Arunima's leg will have to be amputated further. Her condition has been described as serious. Arunima gets more offers to help you. Vrat Singh and Harbhajan give Arunima a lakh each. After the alert at the Fukushima plant was raised to the highest level, the operator of Fukushima says the crisis should be under control in nine months. Lewis Hamilton pips Sebastian Vettel to the post, wins his first Grand Prix this season. Well, our top story on headlines now, the Puducherry Lieutenant Governor under suspicion for his alleged links to Pune-based businessman Hassan Ali says he is ready to quit if his resignation is sought. Sources have told NDTV the Enforcement Directorate could summon Iqbal Singh as early as next week. However, Iqbal Singh, who is now in the capital, dismissed the claims that he's received summons but says he is ready to face questioning. The Puducherry Lieutenant Governor letter to the Home Ministry has said that he recommended Hassan Ali's name for a passport but doesn't have any links with Hassan Ali who is considered to be the country's biggest tax evader. The news is coming out that and the AIATMK General Secretary Jay Lalitha today reiterated her appeal to the Election Commission to take effective steps to stop the attacks on the cadre of the AIATMK and its allies. She cited fresh instances of violence which targeted the AI ATMK Kada in Pallavaram and Roypuram assembly constituencies. She alleged that the DMK men unleashed violence on the Kada of AI ATMK and its allies across the state. She charged that the DMK regime was not capable of taking, ca taking care of the law and order situation in the state. She urged the Election Commission to take steps to stop what she calls the continuing attacks. And the heartburn against Tangabalu has been increasing by the day for a few sections of the Congress members. Yesterday, members of the Youth Congress burnt his effigy in Tinagar, and today, a group of people believed to be supporters of Karate Tyagarajan burnt an effigy of the TNCC chief at Basin Bridge. Last week, Tangabalu had expelled 19 members from the Congress, including actor S.V. Shekhar and Karate Tyagarajan, for which he has been receiving a lot of flack. But Tangabalu has maintained his stance, saying they indulged in anti-party activities. He has intentionally hidden a lot of facts to the AICC. We want to bring the mismanagement of the TNCC president. The TNCC president is supposed to lead and help the party. Instead, he is hurting the party by his, in, his inefficiency, his nepotism and the several other factors that have been very well known in Tamil Nadu. Moving on to some national news now. Well, anti-I activist and member of the Lokpal Bill uh, drafting panel, 
Arvind Kejriwal has defended the funding for the anti-corruption crusade led by Anna Hazari. A day after the Congress General Secretary Digvijay Singh questioned the huge funding for anti-corruption Anna Hazari's four-day hunger strike in Delhi. Yesterday, Digvijay Singh had claimed 50 lakh rupees was spent for Hazare's four-day agitation at Jantar Mantar. And now Mr. Kejriwal has claimed that Digvijay's figures are wrong and that a total of 30 lakhs has been spent over the last four months. Meanwhile, Digvijay has uh, taken on the civil society again, saying that the drafting of the Lokpal bill should be done in consultation with the opposition parties. The drafting committee can uh, call uh, members of the other political parties to, to discuss. But do you think that opposition uh, members of the opposition should be taken on in the drafting committee? No, I'm not saying they take them on the drafting committee, but they, sh uh, they should be called for discussion. So you mean the discussion should go outside of the ambit of this drafting committee as no, well? No, no, this drafting committee itself should call uh, the, uh, the, the different political party. Moving on, social activist Anna Hazari today said that he has been told that the CD carrying audio clippings of a perpetrated telephone conversation between Shanti Bhushan and the SP chief Mulayam Singh Yadav and Amar Singh about influencing a judge was doctored. Asked about whether he could give a guarantee about Shanti Bhushan, Hazare said he couldn't give a guarantee for anyone but for himself. Abhi abhi sabere mere pas jo CD is desh ki high level ki laboratory hai wahan mein bheji thi testing ke liye aur uska report aaya hai ki ye CD bogus hai. Aisa report aaya hai mujhe sabere sabere ye baat lekar aaye log. Abhi Shanti Bhushan us उनके ऊपर कोर्ट में दावा लगा रहे हैं तो अगर वो दोषी है तो उसको दोषी पकड़कर पनिशमेंट होना जरूरी है किसी आदमी को मैं गारंटी कैसे दे सकता हूं शांति भूषण और मेरा तो अभी अभी परिचय हुआ ये कमेटी का कारण मैं लाइफ में कभी भी ऐसा बुरा कर्म नहीं किया ना करूंगा and the newly formed panel on the Lokpal bill met for the first time in the capital yesterday, but the controversial CD sent anonymously to media houses a day before this meet that allegedly contains the co chairman Shanti Bhushan's damaging conversation, however, did not overshadow the meet, even as Shanti Bhushan himself reacted to the CD controversy, terming it a smear campaign against him and his family. You feel it's a uh, campaign to malign uh, people, yeah, basically, a malicious yeah. campaign to looks malign like, people. It does, certainly it looks like it. Shanti Bhushan emerging from the first meeting of the Lokpal Drafting Committee only to be buffeted by a volley of questions about the CD controversy. In the CD that was anonymously sent to various media houses, Bhushan can purportedly be heard talking to Amar Singh and Mulayam Singh about fixing a judge at the price of four crores. Shanti Bhushan and his son Prashant Bhushan, both of whom are on the Lokpal drafting committee, have described the controversy as an attempt to defame them. They say the CD is doctored. Harish Salve moved to the Supreme Court on behalf of Ratan Tata, seeking a stay on the publication of Radia tapes. He says the controversy is an outcome of the system that's been created, a system he calls worrying. Ironically, Salve and Bhushan are on opposing sides in the Radia tapes case. We are becoming a society of anarchy where people are built, iconized and demonized, not necessarily based on truth. This just might be one more occasion where people have either, if the CD is false, they are being demonized on falsity and if the CD is true, they have been iconized on the wrong basis. So now you've created this whole edifice and now this controversy has started and you're rightly asking the question, should not these two Caesars wives also be above suspicion? The problem is the system which we have created and if, if we have to live with the system, the only answer to your question is yes. Then there are those who feel the endless controversies are a reality check after the euphoria over the initial success of the people's movement. Everybody lives in glass houses. Nobody should throw stones. A purest view is that nobody hankers for an office. If you are accused, you wait till the accusation blows over. The non-purest view is no matter what you've done, continue. A great movement 
is beginning to falter. But many supporters of the Bhushan say the controversy is nothing but a smear campaign meant to derail the Lokpal bill. This is a kind of a smear campaign going on. The idea is that all the issues are going to be able to get rid of the issues. Ultimately, the issue of the general Lokpal bill is the issue. Core issue. The Lokpal drafting committee has held its first meeting and both sides say the talks were positive and meaningful. But fact remains, there have been simply too many controversies surrounding the committee in recent days. And if public perception is paramount, then the big question is, will the public have enough faith in this entire process meant to cleanse the system? In New Delhi, with Anama Biswas, Neha Khanna for NDTV. And coming up on headlines now, a special report from South Africa on the controversy surrounding a new book on Mahatma Gandhi.